away from the AMVCAs to the world of music as top Nigerian singers, including the band Current Raves, Rema Oxlade and Goya Menor, turn up the party as the U.S. ambassador celebrates the Hedy's Awards as it moves to make debut appearance in Atlanta, United States of America. Details in this next report. <laughs> It was an evening of celebration and merriment as the United States Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, hosted Nigeria's longest running and most recognized mainstream music awards system, the Headies, alongside key industry players as the Headies gets ready for a new chapter. Consolidating on the current attention, Nigeria's Afrobeat is getting abroad. Organizers of the awards in partnership with the American Mission in Nigeria is hosting the 2022 installment of the awards in Atlanta in the United States of America. We've been seeing such tremendous growth in cultural ties between the United States and Nigeria. It's truly the time of Nigeria in America. Last year, Nigerian artists Burna Boy and Wizkid each won a Grammy. Techno and Davido anchored the Coming to America 2 soundtrack. A well-known Lingus art gallery, Raleigh Gallery, opened in Los Angeles. And Nigerian creatives have signed contracts with Amazon Prime and Netflix to produce content for the continent. Taking the Headies to the United States in 2022 is another example of this vibrant connection. Atlanta is an important choice for this event, symbolizing the growing relationship between the U.S. and Nigerian music industries and the growing popularity of Nigerian music in the United States. It became a mini concert with top Nigerian celebrities taking turns to entertain the guests. Multiple award winner the band charged the audience, including Ambassador Leonard and veteran cultural fashion enthusiast Nika Davis of Kundai. We have to showcase our talent on the global scale. The, the, few, the artists that are mentioning around that they are mentioning around the world now, they are doing well. How many are they? We have so much more, and it can happen, you know, in our backyard. It has to be there. Okay, we, we are selling a big, big um, uh, concert venue. But that, uh, we, we have straight big streaming number, but that's just the beginning. We have to keep doing it. We have what you have is so massive that we don't even realize it. But you know what? If you do not harness it, it's just going to be there. That's what we need to do. I wanna be a billionaire, a billionaire. Nigerian music at the moment is getting much credibility within the international music soundscape, enjoying increased visibility. Industry legend Kenny Ogungo believes it's time the industry capitalized on the attention and built a bigger industry. I can tell you there was a time when reggae music was the second greatest music after American music. What's popular in America? There are less than 6 million people, but the music is globally known. Thank God to Bob Marley, Peter Todd, Jimmy Cliff, and many more icons still alive. But now we have internet. At that particular time, one or two, three people saw it and they invested. But this time around, internet is helping our music to be heard globally. Look at uh, Love Watching TV. Look at the way this one it has streamed over one billion today. Look at it. Our song is number one on Hot Billboard alongside Drake and Future. Number one, first African woman to be on number one on Hot 100 USA. So that's telling me Nigerian music, Nigerian musicians, we are there now. We should not sleep. We should not wait. We should keep on going. Keep on marching. You know Nigerians are aggressive. They are hardworking. Once it's good, keep on. Don't so that it doesn't look like reggae. That after a while, it went down. I know some people have been grumbling. Why is he taking it to America? The world is getting to know Hedis. And through Hedis going to America, the world will know more of Nigerian music and Nigerian entertainers. And then maybe, who knows, an American award might just be brought to Nigeria. The belief is that the Hedy's trip to Atlanta becomes more than just a jamboree for Nigerian music, but a metamorphosis into a cultural exchange that can affect both countries positively. Okay.